presents I'm good, how are you, Fashion TV? Hi, Fashion TV, I'm Orlando Pita, and you're backstage at Galliano. The hair today is uh, very graphic, it's very simple, it's kind of a side part, but there's panels to the hairdo because it's something that the dresses, some of the dresses have panels of fabric that meet together to form the whole dress. So we're kind of mimicking that in the hairstyle. It's Frances Kuhn backstage at John Galliano with Fashion TV. I have this look right here. Um, beautiful fur jacket with a bit of a shine to it and underneath this nice texturized sweater. Really nice print on it. And then the pants are very um, high rise, which I love with this velvet detail. And then I have this amazing feathered hat. Um, so beautiful with this purse. And then of course the shoes, which also have this little detail here with the, the hair on the backs and the zippers on the front. So it's a lot of detail, a lot of texture, a lot of layering, fur, everything perfect for fall. <laughs> I'm good, I'm all right, excited. Well, it's very feminine, um, and I think it's really about luxury. Um, it's a lot of techniques, a lot of velvet, a lot of fur, mink, gazelle, um, and then there's a lot of bonding techniques using velvet to imitate crocodile and snakeskin, plus snakeskin. Um, it's luxury. Lots of wools, um, cashmere, bonded jerseys. Um, embroidery, it's rich. Yeah, no, the crazy shoes, yeah. It's gazelle and snakeskin um, with chrome heels. That's quite, it's quite full on. We do it ourselves. We just and we do really big casting um, and just look at all the new girls, get them to come in and um, new, new, new. To be honest, now I'm more into new girls. A lot of the time in the past, I've used established girls and girls that you know, so you just automatically book them. Um, but now I've kind of changed, I think, and uh, it's good to have new girls. It's good to give them a chance as well if they don't do shows. They don't get the experience.
Fashion TV. I'm Lisa Eldridge, makeup artist. So the look for Matthew's show, I've been very inspired by Angelica Houston and really that Studio 54, Bianca Jagger, glamorous, sexy makeup. All eyes and lips, there's lots of kind of bronzers, plums, chocolates on the eyes, all kind of winged out, lots and lots of blusher, highlighter, very glossy skin, um, and a really dark cherry dipped in chocolate lip. A very glossy, yeah, like a kind of black cherry if you dipped it in chocolate, you have that amazing kind of rich texture. So everything about it is super, super glamorous. Fashion TV and I'm Mark Hampton. So we're at Matthew Williamson. Uh, the look is very sophisticated, very clean, very beautiful lines. Send a part in, very slick, into a really low ponytail. Uh, ponytail is just wound around with a single piece of elastic first. And then after it's all cleaned up and it's all really perfect, then we actually wind in sort of a few meters of elastic all the way around the base of the ponytail. So you sort of extend that ponytail base by about three inches. So you get like this very small, sleek, very clean line and it just becomes a very yeah beautiful tailored shape it's very different from what Matthews normally does you know it's normally quite sexy but it was just wanted to move that on a little bit and it's just sort of same woman just a little bit more secure and sophisticated Fashion TV, I'm Louise. And right now we're backstage at the Matthew Williamson show. I'm wearing these really fun leather pants with um, different color stars embroidered on them. And uh, on top I'm wearing a really colorful, furry, big jacket um, and a pair of sunglasses. It's very like sexy, fun, colorful, bright. It's fun to wear. <laughs> Matthew Williams today and uh, what I'm wearing, I'm going to be pretty fierce today. I'm wearing a, a yellow fur short with a skirt and a yellow shirt underneath with some pearls here. We're going for some sunglasses, it's going to be fierce. Beautiful shoes, yellow socks with like little feathers on. I love it. Colorful, power, I'm going to have a party today.
Hi Fashion TV. We are at backstage of Tony World Show. So two amazing, beautiful embroidered uh, dresses. So you can see it here. So one violet pink one. Very uptight, very elegant. A lot of broderies. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> and the second one is a pale, like a skin color dress. Uh, very nice, um, cropped in the front, back is long, very sexy in a way, so you feel very pretty inside. This is like a lot of imagination in a uh, haute couture, you can't wear, wear it every day. It's like for special occasions, for red carpet, for celebrities, for like very special day, you know. And this is like all, all by, by hand, hand work. This is a hand piece. And that's why you, inside you feel like a star. Fashion TV, I'm Leila Wang from China. It's Tony Wall's backstage show. I have three outfits. Let me show you just, just these two. Uh, the first one is a uh, white one, and second one is a gray one. It's, uh, you can see the, of the picture, it is a skirt, and it's very soft. The third outfit is, uh, is very heavy, very bling bling, and very sexy and good shape like this and we fix it yesterday until the uh, the fitting to make sure that the lungs is okay and it's perfect for uh, for walking it's like this and i love it just love it Hello Fashion TV, it's Tony Ward from Paris. I'm happy to have Fashion TV here with me, always tuned, uh, everywhere. This is a collection worked around uh, modern uh, origami. We went from uh, some Japanese flowers origami and we developed them, we, uh, we hooked them in architectural ways um, and we went cutting in the, in the pieces. Uh, we end up having uh, some dresses with uh, around 500 cuts with uh, 3D relief, uh, with embroidery that comes from inside to outside. It's a lot the research, the main idea that you go from, and then you develop with all these small hands, all the, um, especially when it's not about beading. Beading is easier than working and giving 3D effects and capitone for a piece. And, you know, I, I grew up in Paris. I worked with uh, big names. I, remember, I still remember uh, Gianfranco Ferré for Dior when I worked for him, how we did research. I remember Claude Montana for Lanvin. And I wanted to bring this experience back with me to Paris. And uh, this is what couture is all about. This is, this is a flower of origami that was broken up and dispatched on a, on a top of a dress. All this work is uh, in a 3D effect. It's one by one put, stitched and sewed on, a, on the dress. And you have complete, uh, complete approach. And you find them again even in the beadings and the stones. You, you redesign this flower and you put it. Uh, when you check a top like this, a small dress, all this work is a hectic uh, approach of uh, mm, uh, it's four levels of material. You have to cut each shape, put it, stitch it, cover it, stitch it again, and then cover it with the final material. Any small mistake would have to have you go from scratch again. 
So that's the technique of something you'd see and you'd think that it's born like this. And it's a 3D effect, but actually it's not. It has been with hundreds and hundreds of hours. When a fire starts to burn, right, and it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing with their life. When a fire starts to burn, right, and it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing with their life. When a fire starts to burn, right? It is so exciting to be here. Not only this is my first BCBG show, but this is my first fashion show, period. So um, I'm really excited, and I'll probably be smiling like this all day. Attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing with their life. When a fire starts to It's really great for my first show to have it be a BCBG show because I've admired BCBG for a very long time. It's all just so new to me and I'm just trying to take it all in and um, learn and just be here and be happy. <laughs> when a fire starts to burn, right, and it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. This is my second time coming and uh, it's, uh, I'm just excited to kind of catch something on fashion, fat fashion Week. And you know, Max and Luba have been wonderful to me. They make wearable clothes that I can wear when I'm cooking or when I'm doing something very glamorous like this. And uh, they make me feel sexy and chic and comfortable. When a fire starts to burn, right? And it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. She don't wanna do nothing with their life. When a fire starts to here at BCPG, we're just finishing up, doing, getting ready for the show now. It's the first show this season, yeah. It's a good beginner, yeah. When a fire starts to burn, right, and it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing with your life. I really like being in New York, cause that, for the city too, like the whole energy, the food, yeah. So New York, and it's like in the beginning, so everybody's like full on. Energized. Yeah. So I'm basically wearing like a, a beautiful long dress with um, high boots. You know, I brush my teeth like, like really good. Uh, yeah, and been uh, not doing sport, been good cleaning my skin, preparing myself, getting my sleep, which I know I'm not going to be getting for the next month. <laughs> My hair is not completely finished yet, but it looks pretty good already. Like I love the makeup; she's like really clean. I like when it's no mascara, like clean skin. I've got two things. I like I've got pretty amazing boots. Like they're really like the high boots, and like um, I've got some trousers who are like just oh, just after my knee, and it's the boots, so you can see the whole thing. I like good big scarfy colors. Warm, pretty wintry, yeah. I love Fashion Week, and this is the beginning, so I'm all all hyped about it now. <laughs> um, right now, just I'm pretty casual, actually. I'm pretty black all the way around. I wear a wreck and bone. Thanks. And um, Saint Laurent. This is like my good thing for the winter right now. It's like my warmest coat ever from Acne. When a fire starts to burn, right, and it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing with their life. When a fire starts to burn, right, and it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing with their life. When a fire starts to burn, right, and it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing with their life. 
I'm opening the show and I'm wearing this lovely dress and I'm really in love with the collection and I try it on all the looks so I know what's going on and I would buy every single piece, it's really lovely. I don't really work out, I mean during fashion week you don't have to work out because you're stressed and you run around a lot so you're burning enough calories, you can eat as well. So. When a fire starts to burn, right, and it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing with they like. When a fire starts to burn, right, and it starts to spread, she gonna bring that attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing with they like. When a fire. I love being on the runway, and it's it's stressful, but it's all worth it. And yeah, it's nice to see the results. It's amazing. It's an honor to open a show, especially for BCBG. I'm kind of nervous, but very excited. So, yeah, let's see. <laughs> I'm based here, yeah. I moved here at the beginning of the year and I'm gonna stay here for a while and work. Right now, I live in uh, the model apartment, but after Fashion Week, I'm gonna find my own place because it's very tight and gets annoying to be in a model apartment for a long time. It's not always easy with a lot of girls. <laughs> I'm doing this for eight years and I traveled for four years and I did my school and I finished it and then I started to travel. Yeah, I'm living right now, so I don't really think too much in the future. You can't really do that with that job, so let's see how it goes. New York Fashion Week is fun. It's, uh, of course, it's um, sometimes hard, stressful, but it's fun. I love the city and people here, and New York is my favorite fashion. I'm from north of Russia, and I'm from small, small village in Russia. In my village, like about uh, three or four thousand people. Yeah. It happened to me almost two years ago. I was 18, now I'm 20. Yeah, and uh, I just met with a scout uh, from Moscow in a little town close to my village. And uh, after six months, I went to Moscow and I started modeling. Fire starts to burn, right? And it starts to spread. She gonna bring that attitude home. You don't wanna do nothing what they like. When a fire starts to Luxury Asai Energy. My name is Tarini and hello Pash TV from Alice Hub. I wear a big, a big, a big dress. It's so beautiful. And oh yes, amazing. I'm gonna move when I walk in. So it's gonna be amazing. And then a uh, short one and it's green. And I feel so sexy. It's amazing. So beautiful, so beautiful. The show is gonna be amazing. I don't know, I just love. I put a dress, I'm like, oh my god, I'm the red carpet. I love it. <laughs> I'm thinking about not to fall, because maybe I can fall, maybe not. But I'm just thinking to try to walk straight and have a, a quiet face, you know, not like this or like this. So be, be like, and don't do like this, just walk straight. It's fine, you know, like the last place, we are tired, but still, I love. I love to be here, I love to do my job, so I'm so excited to see like we have more two days maybe something gonna happen I don't know but I'm happy I'm very happy it's my first season I'm I'm loving to do this after here I'm going I'm gonna take like uh, vacations for one week and then start the fashion week there first Sao Paulo and then Rio
Hi Fashion TV, you're watching Elisa. We are on the backstage, everything is good, the, the, the atmosphere is good and we are ready for the show. I have one dress and um, a beautiful dress, black dress, like Elisa know how make beautiful girls. And after I have a jacket with fur, I feel just beautiful. I feel, I, I, I'm, I'm just good with this clothes. I feel awesome, really. Hi, my name is Tom Pesce. We are backstage at the Elisap show for autumn winter 2014. I make up to make and to look women look beautiful, um, Elisap philosophy. So the makeup follow Monsieur Sap philosophy. The focus will be on the eyes with a lot of mascara. That is giving a little bit of a 60s feeling. And the color with a smoky green blue eyeshadow. Uh, no specific shape, we respect the, the shape of the girl's eyes and that gives a, lit, a little 80s feeling. Uh, powerful eyebrow, not dramatic, but powerful eyebrow. I think it gives a lot of character to women. The skin is a satin finish on a bit of a cool uh, color, a little bit pale. Um, very pale rosy cheeks and pale uh, pink lipstick. Well, mascara is a girl's best friend. Uh, if you give yourself a lovely few minutes of love at night by massaging your face and a good uh, skincare, you know, you are going to win a lot of time in the morning. Um, we realized that, you know, and the models have realized that after the Balmain show last season, where we didn't do any makeup, but we did like a, almost like being at the spa. We did a 30 minute facial treatment with massage, with skincare and everything. And you know, when you make the, you give love to your skin, you give, uh, you massage, your blood circulation, you know, your, your, your face look much better.